A woman appears to be getting electrocuted by a lamp post in the street. A man approaches her to check what's going on. The woman points to some bills lying in the street. The young man picks it up and realizes that it's quite a lot of money. He says that he really needs it and walks away, saying that someone else can help her. The woman then stops pretending to be electrocuted and says that she also feels sorry for him. She then continues to act. An older man approaches to check if she's okay. The man picks up the money and the piece of wood lying next to her. He says that he's really sorry about it, but he's really broke at the moment, so he's willing to walk away with the bills. He tells her to be more careful next time she sees a bare wire. He wishes her a good one. The woman then stops pretending for a bit and says she reckons it's not working. Moments later, a father approaches, accompanied by his daughter. His daughter sees the woman getting electrocuted. She tells him that they need to help her. They approach her to try to help. His daughter tries to touch her, but her father tells her to be careful because she can get shocked. The father tries to find a suitable object to help the woman. His daughter suggests that he pick up the piece of wood. The man then manages to take her hand off the post with a piece of wood. She faints on his arms. The girl finds the money and calls her father to have a look. He asks his daughter where she found it. The girl says that it was next to the piece of wood. The father says that he can buy her medicine with that money. He then says that it's not ethical. He says that he needs to call an ambulance. The woman tells them to hold on. The father then checks if she's really okay. The woman thanked him for saving her, saying that she thought it was over for her. The father says that he's glad he was able to help, omitting the fact that he found the money. His daughter then reminds him about it. He tries to make his daughter keep quiet about it, but she says that her mother taught her to be honest. Her father says that she's right. He then tells the woman, who was shocked, that he found some money and that he supposes it belongs to her. He then hands the money to her. The woman thanks him for giving it back to her and asks why he didn't run away with it. He says that he became a single father recently and that he's trying to be a good father figure to his daughter. The father then remembers that they need to hurry up and leave. The woman asks why they're in such a hurry. The daughter says that her father has a job interview to attend because he needs to raise some money to buy her medicine. The woman asks if she's ill. The girl says that she is indeed. The father says that his daughter suffers from a rare disease that she inherited from her mother. He says that her mother rests in peace now, so he's trying to find a better job to take care of his daughter as she deserves. He says that he hopes the woman is better because he can't be late for his interview. The woman says that she's sure he's going to get the job. She thanks him for helping her. The man says that she should still go to the hospital to see if her heart wasn't affected by anything. The woman says that she's going, and she thanks him for saving her life. The family says goodbye to the woman and leaves. The actress then picks up her mobile phone and warns the other person involved that she's ready. Meanwhile, the father arrives at the job interview location. He tries to walk inside, but his daughter stops him and says that first she wants to wish him luck. She tells him to make him a pinky swear. He kisses her forehead, prays, and goes inside the building. Inside the building, sitting at the table, the older man is telling the younger one the story that he witnessed in the street of a woman getting electrocuted. The young man says that he saw the woman as well, but he didn't see any money. The old man says that he's surprised that he didn't see it. The father sits next to them and says that he actually helped the woman. The two men mock him, saying that he's stupid. They ask if he's trying to be a superhero or something. The father says that he gave her money back, and she thanked him for it. The old man asks who would give the money back. The father says that someone honest would. They say that it was the woman's fault for being so stupid as to shock herself. The father says that he's being really disrespectful. He gets up and tries to fight him. A woman sees it and asks what's going on. The old man says that the stupid man was taunting him. The woman greets them and says that her name is Elizabeth and that she's the owner of that company. She says that she's in charge of the job interview. The father says that her face is familiar to him.
Elizabeth removes her glasses and unties her hair, saying that she's going to remind them about something. Elizabeth asks the other men if she looks okay to them or if they need to see her getting electrocuted to remember. The young man says that it's not the case and that he actually has her money with him. He tries to hand it to her. She refuses to pick it up and says that he might need it more than her. The older man tries to hand her his CV. She says that it's not necessary because she saw what she needed from them. She says that she still remembers when they walked away with the money while she was nearly dying. She says that she doesn't need people like that in her company but actually honest people who can work well. The young man insists that she have a look at their CV because they have loads of experience. The woman says that what they did was enough. The woman says that the best thing they can do is leave. They get angry and say that they don't want to work for a tin pot company anyway. They walk away, fuming. Elizabeth apologizes to the father for having to witness something like that. The father says that there's no need to apologize and says that he's just confused about what happened. Elizabeth says that first she wants to thank him for helping her and that she also wants to compensate him for being so honest and caring. The man says that he wasn't doing it for a reward or anything. The woman says that she understands it, but he was the only one. She says that she wants to name him the chief engineer. The man celebrates and tells his daughter that she was right and that he was going to achieve it. The girl says that it's the power of their faith. The father thanks her and says that she's right. He hugs her. Elizabeth says that his daughter must feel really proud of having a father like him. The father says that all that matters to him is being able to afford his daughter's medicine. Elizabeth says that he's right and asks when he can start working for her. He says that it can be any time. She asks if she can introduce him the next day. He confirms and says that he will be delighted. He shakes her hands and says that he promises to be her best employee. The woman says that she is sure about it. She says that people like him deserve the best. The man smiles and hugs his daughter.